Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Question, do you like movies that bring back thoughts of your childhood? Do you like good streaming service original movies? Well, you won't find that here. Alice Through the Looking Glass. After seeing the sequel to Alice in Wonderland, I can't decide if having it look exactly the same as it did six years ago was an artistic choice or not. If it was, it was as bad a choice as it was six years ago. Like the first movie, this one could have been good, but it was plagued by all of the same things. Odd and or bad CG, underwhelming humor, big time overacting, etc. I know these stories are supposed to be set in a fantastical place, but some realism would help a little. Johnny Depp is as annoying as ever as the Mad Hatter, but I will say that he had a very short Gollum-like moment that was kind of cool. Sasha Baron Cohen as time isn't as bad as one of his usual characters. He might actually be the best character in the movie, but it's still one of his characters. The story itself involves time travel, which is kind of played out at this point. In the end, there isn't anything really new here. If you like the first movie that came out six years ago, you might get something out of this one. If not, then don't waste your time. Your time is up. Hey, that one's allowed. That was half the movie's jokes anyway. This cannot be good. The do-over. Well, at least I can say it was way better than the last Adam Sandler Netflix movie. I'm not saying it's good, but at least it tries to have a story that isn't just Sandler and his buddies hanging out on a movie set. At least it's not as offensive as Ridiculous 6. I mean, it's still comedically offensive, but at least a whole race of people won't be offended by it this time around. The ID theft plot is okay, but nothing so interesting that it keeps you invested. The humor is pretty much non-existent. I think I only had the slightest of chuckles a couple of times. They do try to give the story a little heart later on, but it is still outweighed by the usual antics that plague a Sandler movie nowadays. Being that this is on Netflix, I'd like to say it would be a good one to, you know, but I think you'd probably fall asleep from boredom first. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. If you are looking for something that might be a fun look back at your childhood and streaming on Netflix, make sure to check out my online exclusive chillin' Netflix look at the new Danger Mouse. Next time on The Real Opinion, the heroes in a half shell return in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Until next time, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion.